<laughs> this is going to sound like a broken record, okay? Started the game out exactly how we should. Uh, had a lot of energy, a lot of ball movement. I thought we were really good defensively. And uh, dun, 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 dun. And then the second half came. The third, Well, the third quarter more so than anything. And uh, uh, I think what happens is that uh, we, get a, we, we get a little tight, I think, because of the first couple of plays uh, that happen. I think what we have to do is that we have to find a way uh, to continue the way we started the game. And that's with ball movement, people movement, activity defensively, you know, a lot of deflections you know, uh, in the first half and stuff. I think we just got to find a way to start those first five minutes of the third quarter that way. But, you know, we find a way to come away with a win, and I think that's the most important thing. Alvin, just what were your thoughts on the way that Dante DiVincenzo sort of just fit right in with that group? Great. I thought it was his best game by far. Uh, I, I thought that the one thing he did is that uh, – you know, we talk about crash zones and creating second opportunities, and I thought he did a great job of that. And then I thought he was really good defensively. I mean, if you think about it, that's that's about as good a job as you're going to do on DeRozan, uh, you know, which is kind of crazy because, I mean, he still put up numbers. But uh, I, I didn't think we could play him any better than we did. And obviously, in doing that, you're going to open up some other things. And, uh, you know, with Vucevic, I thought, uh, you know, we – he, we created some threes for him simply because we had to try to get, uh, keep the ball out of uh, uh, DeRozan's hand. So, uh, you know, all in all, I thought we competed, you know, especially down the stretch. We competed uh, extremely hard and, and found a way to win the game against a real quality team. And to me, that's the, you know, that's what we needed to accomplish. Alvin, how much tonight did it kind of resemble maybe at, in times things that you would – kind of hope for this team when they made some of these moves, especially with some of the stops made down the stretch? Uh, yeah, I, I think you're right. I, I, I still think that uh, we can we can uh, play in space better and play with a little more pace. You know, I still think we can have that. But, you know, I think De'Aaron is playing so well right now that uh, – and he's and, and he's doing he's doing an extremely good job of, of, of just controlling the game, you know, like night in and night out. You know, what he's doing for us is, is, is amazing. I think he's playing as well as anybody in the league, not any guard. I think he's playing as well as anybody in the league. You know, you go back over the last month or so. Davion Mitchell played extremely well coming off the bench. Uh, with Dante going into the starting lineup, was there a message to him to, you know, hey, you got to, you know, pick it up a little bit? No, I mean, we just thought we liked Davion's role on this team, and I thought he came in and did a, a, an a unbelievable job. Uh, uh, defensively, of uh, being into the ball, you know, we we had to have uh, pressure on the ball, and so when you have he and uh, Dante in the game, I think we can really pick up the pressure and stuff like that. You know, it's hard to ask Fox to guard the best player on the team and get 30 for us and have 11 assists, and you know, I you know, so being able to to play uh, Dante and being able to play uh, you know Davion, uh, where Fox doesn't have to guard and run through 20 screens, you know, every possession, I think is, is really important because, you know, obviously we need him on both ends, but we really need him on the other end. Alvin, you had Dante on uh, Zach a little bit tonight too, do you think? Uh, just to, to elaborate on what he kind of brought um, to you guys at, at really both ends of the floor, I know you were saying previously that you liked what he brought to that second unit. Do you also now like what you saw him bring to your, your first unit? Yeah, I, 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 like, I like him. Uh, Period. You know, I thought, uh, you know, as a starter, he did a good job. I mean, we were really good defensively at the start of the game. You know, I mean, really for the whole first quarter, I thought we were extremely good. So, uh, and, and he's a big part of that because, you know, he can get into the ball and he can guard up or guard down. Uh, so just, just having him uh, settle down. And I thought his shot selection tonight was great. You know, I really did. I thought he, with his feet set and, uh, and, and, and just shooting it, you know, uh, with the ball coming to him and taking shots, I thought he did a really good job. Now, with 12 games left in the season, just what's your assessment of the locker room and, and the mood and, and how guys are approaching um, all the changes that they've made and just the daily part of the grind to the daily part of the grind to, to get you know, better? I, I think we got a we got a really good group of guys, and uh, you know, some has been in the rotation, out of the rotation. 
uh, that's really tough. You know, it, it's tough. Uh, and I think as a coach, uh, you have to understand that. And uh, you have to have, you know, some grace for the players because, you know, a lot of things, you know, their life depends on a lot of this. So, uh, but we got good guys. We got good leaders. You know, we try to communicate with the guys every day, you know, so small problems don't become big problems. But I think we got a great locker room. I think we got good leaders in there. Uh, I, I think adding Sabonis and Justin and, you know, Trey and, and Davion and those guys there, I mean, uh, Dante and those guys are all really good guys. And they, you know, their goal is to win games and whatever we have to do to do that, I think they're willing to, to invest in that and do that. Elvin, you had uh, five guys in double figures tonight. How nice is it to have that even scoring when Harrison can have an off night offensively like he did tonight? It's good, and, and that's the other thing. I think, you know, we added uh, some depth to our team. Uh, two-way guys, you know. I think that's that's the important thing. I thought we added some two-way guys to our, you know, that can play on the defense and offensive end, and I think that was really important. Uh, Monty and, and Wes both did a good job of adding guys to our team that was going to be a good fit. Yeah, and as you guys kind of progress with this new group, you know, how useful is it to for yourself and, and the players out there to have an idea going into every night of where your shots are going to be and, and what sort of minutes you're going to play? Yeah, I, I think that's important. And, uh, uh, you know, like we talked about earlier, I think what happens when you, you know, you basically change 50% of your team. You know, you add six guys, you take away six guys. Uh, you know, so uh, these guys have uh, tried to, as quickly as they possibly can, uh, uh, be able to play with each other, understand what uh, uh, one player wants the ball, understand when another one should be cutting and things like that. So, you know, we don't have a lot of practice time, you know, because we have a game every other day. and. You know, uh, and so we don't get to work on those things uh, as intensely as we would like to. But I think they've done a good job of trying to play, create chemistry, and do all of those things like that. So, like I said, I think we got a great group, and they're going to try to do everything they can uh, from the standpoint of, of winning games and, 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 you know, playing and not playing and, and being okay with that. We'll go ahead and do one more question, Christos. Hello, Coach. Congratulations on the win. Uh, you mentioned before Dante's uh, game tonight. How contagious his energy was on defensive end for the whole team? Well, I, I, I think, you know, tonight I think all of our guys had that energy that we need to play with defensively, uh, and that's why we had a lot of deflections. I thought we came up with a lot of the loose balls that sometimes we don't, you know. Tonight they were truly 50-50 balls. There was a couple of them you know, that I thought we should have gotten. But, uh, you know, I just thought we were much more locked in and, and, and determined to, to come up with some of those balls tonight, and we did. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you.